that's okay. Yeah, apparently there's some uh, there's some codes you can do between stages. And one of them powers up your gun, which is pretty major. I'm undecided if I want to do it. So by default, uh, one bonus soldier for 80,000 and then every 150k after that. Which sounds like a lot of points, but uh, this is a very, uh, very unusual game. Well, not very unusual, but it's a little unusual in the method you play it. If you're playing this game optimally for score. Because basically you don't want to be like mashing the fire button the entire time. You want to be, uh, you want to kill, you want to fire as few shots as possible. Because you want to get a 100% shot rate at the end of the stage. Which gives you a, a free power up. And it gives you 100,000 points, which gets you two thirds of the way to an extra life. So it's best for survival and it's best for, uh, for points. If you run over enemies with the tank, that counts as a kill without firing a shot. So. And I got the 100%, that's the super bonus. And also getting the, uh, the super bonus does three things. It gives you 100,000 points. It gives you a, uh, a level 3 powered up shot. The shot that just goes through everything. And it makes the uh, the next vehicle that shows up a, a helicopter. So you can just fly over the entire stage. Which, which trivializes every stage except for stage... 5? Is it stage 5 or stage 6? Stage 5... One of those stages has no vehicles at all, so... You still have to go on foot. Being in the helicopter, the uh, the regular soldiers can't kill you with their own shots. They can only throw grenades at you. When you're on foot, you're always one hit away from death. But once I get in that chopper, ooh, wow. We're good. Oh, until I get shot. I got too cocky. Where's the next vehicle? Tank, uh, does the tank take me to the boss? I think it does. Okay, the S kills everything on the screen. Across the, the bridge. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get out of there. Hey, this guy can actually swim. He's got. He's better than Commando. Alright, we're, we're safe. So yeah, this game is just. It's, it's just kind of unique in that it's a run and gun, but you're not actually, like. Not mashing on the fire button the entire time, like Commando or Atari Warriors or anything. So like once you get once you get fully powered up, you're just kind of like taking everything out with like uh, sniper-like precision until you lose a life, and then uh, and then recovery begins because uh, this game is checkpoint-based. And dying on dying on stage eight uh, without the power-up shot. Very difficult. Uh, what else? So there's... If you want to just go for a basic 1cc, it's eight stages. Oops. I missed that guy. When you clear stage 8, you go back to stage 1, but loop 2 is a little different. Uh, loop 2 puts the uh, uh, puts the vehicle locations in different spots that you can pick up. But otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Okay, it was stage 6 I was thinking of. This stage has a vehicle somewhere. You just have to survive for a while to get it. Okay. I'm just going to hang on. 
hang on here. You don't want to leech in this game. If you leech, if you stay, if you stay stationary in one spot for too long, uh, those airplanes get more and more aggressive, and they just hunt your ass down. You want to keep moving in this game. It's technically possible to keep leeching, but I don't recommend it. I like to just run stages. Run the boards, as they say. Yeah, you just gotta do a dragon punch to do a timeout bomb. Yeah, so this is the most dangerous stage, because there's no there's no vehicles you can get into for the entire stage. That tank almost ran me over! Oh god. Yep, there we go. Oof! Okay. So now I gotta I gotta hope for a a power-up drop. That's not a power-up drop. That's one. I guess dying right on the, the screen with the power up is a good idea. But it's not the it's not the level three shot, it's level one. It's still better than nothing. That's for damn sure. Alright, waiting for my buddy, the time tunnel train. There he is. If you hit grenade, you can get on on the train and it gives you points. Oh, gotta get off. Yeah, if you go over what would have been, like, over 100% shot rate, that just brings it down to 100%. Get up there. Thank you. Okay. I almost got run over there. Okay, it's random which door you have to shoot. They start doing this shit with the doors at the on stage 6. Stage 7, they do two doors. Stage 8, they do three. And only one is the right way. Okay, do I have to... Uh, to go on the sides again? Okay, I'm not trying to leech. Okay, there we go. No! Alright, please give me the super bonus. Damn it. I got the great bonus, but... How do I feel about Rax as a word for levels? Rax is a fun word to say for levels. I'm kind of sad that never took off. What was that one game that had the... It had something called the Skipper Rack feature. Was that Solar Fox? That game's cool. Also, the level one shot doesn't go as far, too. But it is a powered up shot. There's no, uh... There's no helicopter on the stage, is there? That's fine. There would have been a helicopter if I'd gotten great bonus or the super bonus. I got the great bonus. Great bonus gives you fifty thousand, but it doesn't it doesn't give you a shot power up or anything. Also, I guess picking up the S like it kills everything on screen, so that counts as kills. Oh no! Oof. I'm getting too into it. Oh, they do three doors in stage seven. I thought it was only stage eight. My bad. I don't know what I'm talking about with this game. I've never played it before. Alright, super bonus for stage 8. That's what I need. Now I have to not get shot, because stage 8 is always the uh, the most nerve-wracking if you, if you lose a life. Also, I don't remember... There's some way that that little B icon gives you anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 points. There's some way to influence it, but I don't remember how. It might be on, like, total number of grenades thrown or something. Something like that. But if you get the 10,000, it also kills everything on the screen, which is nice. I wish I could remember. There's another one. What do I get? There's the 10,000. See, I didn't make it up. Okay, so the boss is three of these tanks. This is really hard to recover from if you 
if you lose your power up. Because you can only destroy them with grenades. Alright, that's that's loop one. And I forgot the timer! Jesus Christ, BBH. God fucking damn it. I haven't been using the timer on these streams, I forget. Time to restart. But yeah, this is loop two. Loop two is pretty much the pretty much the same thing. They just put your vehicles in different spots. And that's about it. So a full uh, a full max out of this is like 56 stages. It's about seven loops. Remove it again. Yeah. Also, the weird thing is that the uh, the other versions of this in Mame, uh, called Storming Party, uh, they might be like bootlegs or something. Because every time, like, I've done a long credit on Storming Party, eventually the game, like, gets confused and, like, stops spawning the, 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 uh, the airplanes, which makes the game way easier. Apparently it has something to do with the, uh, the copy protection. Because there's, like, a specific code you can put in at the end of the stage, and if it, if the copy protection's been fliggered, it says something like, fliggered? The copy protection's been triggered. It says something like, DEAD COPY GAME! With three exclamation marks. But I've never had that happen on this version. So this is like the... This is the definitive version. Because once the uh, the enemy plane stops spawning, the game's easy. That's a joke. I don't want to do that. Although it pretty much didn't happen until like, at the end of Duke 1, I want to say. Yeah, it's like the copy board. I don't know why it makes it easier. <laughs> it's a weird copy protection to make your game easier. But that's what happened. You can read about it on uh, the cutting room floor. I wonder if I should do the other thing. It has a it has a few things. Uh, when you put in your name, if you put in like uh put in all dots and an exclamation mark like it changes it to just say game over or something. But if you put in your name as sex, uh, it does this weird thing where it says like luck percent and then the percent's like a random number between 1 and 100. Maybe I'll do that. That's true, operators wouldn't like it if their credit if players credits were were lasting that long with no effort. Unfortunately, the only time I saw this in an arcade, it was actually at a convenience store. It was at a Circle K. I've told this story before, but it, it was uh, it's a Circle K that was near... Uh, uh, near the... Oh, God. I gotta get that. Uh, helicopter, I can't get it. Shit. I'm in trouble now. Hold on. Uh, hold that story. I need to. I need to recover. Nice iframes. Is there a tank here? There's no tank here. Stay alive, get the super bonus. Okay. Yeah, so there was a, a Circle K that had this. That was near the uh, the baseball field that we would have Little League practice at. I was I was in Little League at the uh, at the age of ten. They stuck me in right field because I was really bad. 
That's where you put the shitty player. But, uh... Whenever practice was over, I told my mom to just pick me up at the at the Circle K, and I would usually drop a quarter into into Lancey Air Squad and start playing it. I don't know how I managed to talk her into that, but and so that was the only place I ever saw this, and for the longest time I couldn't uh, I couldn't remember the name of this game. Like I would start thinking about this uh, this commando type game I played at Lancey Air Squad or I played at Circle K, but I couldn't remember the name of it. And like when I discovered Mame, like I was just going through like the entire game list trying to find it, and it wasn't in there. This game wasn't emulated for a while when like Mame was new. It wasn't until like some years after, like I want to say like. Around like the year 2000, 2001 maybe. I don't know what the uh, what the issue was that was holding up emulation of this game, but I just remember like one of those one of those websites like had like updates on on things like people were working on, and like they showed they showed screenshots of Lancey Air Squad, and I looked at it, I was like, oh shit, I think that's it, I think that's it. played it, and it wasn't exactly like I remembered, but I started playing the shit out of it, because uh, when I discovered how the super bonus works, I'm like, hey, that's kind of tight. And I made it my goal to see what see what kind of a high score I can get, and turns out the, the score maxes out at 9.9 .9 million. I got past that stage. I have 15 lives in reserve, by the way. But yeah, it's, it's always a good feeling when you when you discover the name of that that arcade game that's been in the back of your mind for years and years, and you just can can remember it. One of the only other games that's been that like bugged me for years and years that I couldn't remember the name of. Oh, look, Naked Angel. And a bonus. Was this one game I played at like uh <laughs> it was at like the the state not the state fair, but like the county fair or something. They had like a they had some arcade cabinets in a in a tented area or something. And I just remember like playing some uh, some horizontally scrolling game where it looked like you were a robot or something and for the longest time the only thing I could remember about the game was like you had a life bar oh shit you had a life bar but you took like almost no damage from from enemy bullets but but running into enemies took off like half your life turned out the name of that game was uh, Solar Warrior or, or Zane Selina I'm kind of in trouble here. I have to do the, uh... This is the, the worst case scenario, by the way. I have 15 lives, and this could theoretically be the end of the credit. Because I have to do the Stage 8 boss. At least the monster cheat wouldn't have changed anything, because I died at the beginning of the stage. Okay. I think dying there is a good idea, because I should, like, try to re-roll for the power-up. Oh, the power-up disappears. Never mind. Oh, no, there it is. I'm tempted to re-roll. <laughs> nah, fuck it. We'll try it. Okay. Get the first guy. Did not get him.
shit. I can just start rapid firing, it's not gonna make a difference now. Okay, going for the last one is not a good idea. So first person space shooter is probably Starblade. It has that rumble. Shit, I can't get through here. Too many enemies here, I'm not trying to leech. Okay. That's two. Hello. Ty goes to the runner. Oh, those planes were mad. They were doing, they were doing tight donuts. Okay. Credit is alive. Now I'm on loop three. Loop three is essentially the same as loop one. It doesn't get any more difficult or anything like that. But I have no power up shot. I got to build it back up. I got to get a super bonus. Get it, get in here anyway. This might be a hundred percent. Control. Yeah, dying on the uh, stage 8 or stage 16, any interval of 8 is, uh, <laughs> that's the worst case scenario. You do not want to do the, uh, the quote-unquote final bosses without, uh, without a power-up shot. Whoa, whoa. What the hell just happened? Was that Rika? What just happened? What the hell did the cat just do? <laughs> I see. I just heard some rustling behind me, and then it just fucking darted out of the room. I did, I didn't, I didn't see what happened. <laughs> All the times to not have cat cam. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was. I just heard this rustling behind me. Ooh, that almost hit me. Uh, I love cats. Couldn't let the cat out of the bag. I completely lost my train of thought. I was about to say something and then... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened. What the fuck was I about to talk about? Here, oh god. I'll fall off the boat. There it is. Oh yeah, Starblade. I was talking about that earlier. I think I mentioned that when uh, 
talking about Camelot Golf Land. I'm not too keen on Starblade as a game, but I think Starblade as like an arcade cabinet experience is like one of the coolest cabinets ever made. It's just such a unique experience with that uh, that that angled screen and the yeah you know, the force feedback kicking you in the kicking you in the butt when you get shot, lights flashing in your eyes. Geosword, come in, Geosword. This is team later. This is team later. You take the port, Geosword. I'll take the starboard. Over. Apparently that game is one CCable, but they use auto fire. Pure memorization. It's a super sick cabinet. I haven't seen one since, like... Uh, I want to say, like, the early 2000s. There's a place in the Callum that had one, I remember. All you had to do was get on the damn train, CJ! I got off the train at the wrong time. I guess I can re-roll for a new power-up. Yes! The SSRP. So normally you'd have to pick up like three power-ups to get the, uh, the full effect that the shot goes. Maximum distance, maximum speed, but... If you get the super bonus, you get the uh, the automatic level three shot. Or if you put in the secret monster code, which I'm trying not to do. Oh, that's not a super bonus. Is there a helicopter here? I think there's a helicopter here. There's no, there's no helicopter here. Just another boat. I really need the super bonus before the next stage because I want to, I want to just fly over everything. Oh, I got the. I got the Naked Angel bonus. I don't know what determines that. Sometimes when you shoot those destructible objects, uh, an angel comes out and gives you like 20,000 points. Still no idea what triggers it. This game is very mysterious. Hey, there we go. Alright. Get in the helicopter and do not lose it. Do not lose it, whatever you do. Just hang out on this side of the screen for a while. Yeah, if you don't have the helicopter, you have to like climb up these these hills, which is really annoying. Your character automatically does this jump, which locks you in place. All right, I think we're good. Still being really careful. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Three loops. Four more to go. One music track. Nice little box. Oh god, I ran into it. Oh, 
got another angel. Twenty lives in reserve. That's 1942, not 1945. Oh, there's no tank here. Alright, super bonus. Almost got shot. This is better than 1942 soundtrack, obviously. Uh oh. Rut row. Get me out of the stage. Now, Capcom never made a made a game that ended with 1945. I guess I didn't want to get stuff confused with what the, the Strikers guys ended up doing. Well, you have 19XX and 1942 Joint Strike. <laughs> joint. They're like, fuck it, you guys can have that year. We'll make 1944 the Loot Master. And then Psycho said, fuck it, let's make Strikers 1999. But not call it that in the US. Because now we have name recognition with, uh, with 1945. Three extra lives. Unfortunately, that's probably more than I had in Robotron. <laughs> what the fuck? Shit. No tank here, is there? That almost hit me. How do I manage to play all these quarter muncher games so well? I've been playing these games for a long time. This isn't my first time playing this. I play way too many arcade games. Also, yeah, practice. Oh my god. Oh, that was right in front of the helicopter, right in front of the power up. <laughs> I'm to, yeah, I'm just gonna die and reroll that. Now there's no power up. That's a good idea. Remember, those of you that were there on Thursday, remember when somebody accused me of, like, needing to stream things outside my comfort zone more often? Good times. Let's play some different arcade games, BBH. Somebody who shall remain nameless got uh, got upset because I wouldn't uh, 
I wouldn't play Toy Fighter. I wanted to. I wanted to play KOF 11. Oh shit! Get off the train. Well, we we're testing Flycast stuff. I just really wanted to play KOF 11. Sorry, but I've been waiting a long time for that game to have rollback netcode. I know, it's not like I it's not like I streamed like a few thousand different games during the, the course of Mamer Light or anything. That didn't happen. I didn't play things outside my comfort zone there. No way. Shit. Oh, this is gonna be rough. What stage is this? Is this stage seven? How did that not hit? This is stage 30, so this is stage 6. Okay, I can... If I can get past this, I can recover on the next stage. Maybe. You can build up a lot of lives, but then you can lose them in a flash. Trying to get past these damn bosses. Okay, one down. Okay, I'm not getting the super bonus. I might as well just start firing shots. Why does he go that far to the left? Fuck you. not hit that thing. Oh, not like this. This is not how the credit ends. I refuse. Okay. Nice. I still got the, the great bonus. Alright, so now I gotta start running over enemies. I really need to get to, uh, I need to get the super bonus before the next stage. Because the next stage is stage 8. Stage 32, but it's basically stage 8. Uh oh. Triple kill the grenade, that, that'll bring the hit rate up. Uh oh. Problem in the helicopter is that you can't run over enemies, so. Power up shot. Okay, we're in there. Take your time. I don't know if I need to get the tank here to like run over enemies. I fight. Well, I need it now. Never mind. Okay, I don't know if this is a hundred percent. I could leech it out a little bit, but I'm like worried about the, the planes getting all mad at me. Okay, we're good. Just survive to the, the helicopter. I didn't survive to the helicopter when I got here on stage 16. They make you wait longer to get the helicopter on loop 2, or loop 4. Alright, we're good. We're good! Thank you. 
shit. <laughs> Hey, four loops. God, BBH, why are you still playing Lancey Air Squad? Let's stream some more stuff outside your comfort zone. Oh, shit. Why is there a plane that- Oh, it's the, the plane taking off. That's funny. The plane that takes off off the aircraft carrier doesn't do anything. It's just there to be blown up. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. on loop 5, which is basically loop 1. Like I said, this game never gets harder. The music's getting more and more painful to listen to. I don't know what you're talking about. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, 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 bump. da da dum Probably blowing out the mic. Sorry. Hey, 20 lives might not be enough if I die on stage 8, stage 6. Sorry, my microphone does not handle whistling that well. I couldn't whistle until I was like 15 or 16, I think. can't do those really loud whistles. Those loud wolf whistles. I can sort of whistle. Ah, shit. Uh, what stage is this? Oh, the, the aircraft carrier. Coming aboard. Oh, can I get on? Trying to stall here. Oh god, the planes are pissed off. Look at the circles they're doing. They're pissed off. I stalled for too long. Shit. I didn't mean to leash, I swear. Look how fast they're they're coming back in. Okay, I think they I think they ranked down. Yeah, the hit squad. Game does have a hit squad. Uh oh. Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is stage. Wait, this is stage five. I gotta like keep in mind what stage I'm on. Oh god. Wait until they get that helicopter. Alright. 
23 lives. Are they gonna... I think they're gonna give me a... No, they give me a tank. That's fine, I can start running over dudes. No SSR power-up drop there, though. Shit! Shit! Double whammy. Where's the checkpoint? Okay. Okay, no power up there. Gotta run over some dudes. Three kills, baby. Hold on. Okay, I might have run over enough dudes to get the super bonus now. Don't want to leech too much and anger the hit squad. Hey, it's just in time for stage six. Oh, there's a tank that comes out right here. Actually, it came out the right side this time. There it is. Yeah, Zintada's never really, like, acknowledged the song. Get out the, get out the damn train, CJ. It's too bad. There's no, there's no remixes of this or anything. Gotta play all those things from Night Striker and Ninja Warriors and... Darius Gaiden, oh la di da. Who plays Night Striker anyway? Can you imagine streaming Night Striker on Twitch? Just... Okay. Oh boy. It's this stage again. Okay, I'm gonna waste enough shots here to like not get the super bonus, which is not good. Why is that guy so hard to hit? What the fuck? Okay. YOLO! Ty goes to the runner, and I got the super bonus. I love the fact that you can die and come back to life, just like in Commando. Beep beep, Jesus come through. Military Jesus. Good super bonus wise. <laughs> Didn't expect that to be the new thing you learned from the stream. Watching baseball. Alright. Do not lose that. Oh god. Do not lose the helicopter no matter what you do. Gotta keep my power up shot. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's been one of my oh god, one of my favorite parts of the whole the whole streaming and and I guess YouTube thing, being able to being able to share strategies for things like this. Well, maybe not this game specifically, but you know, a lot of a lot of 1cc strats. There's always been these. Some games just aren't documented that well, and I, I'm all for getting like a, as much knowledge of, of these games out there as possible. Okay, I'm not risking this. Me too, Mortis. Me too.
Like, ever since, like, the Mame Action Replay page was a thing, I was so excited over the... over the concept of being able to see other people's play and see how, uh, how these scores were done. Like the, like that damn Robocop glitch that I never knew about. I always wondered about the scores that were in the millions. How the fuck do you get, how do you, the fuck do you break a million in Robocop? And it turns out the answer is very stupid. But I'm glad I have that knowledge now. <laughs> one up on that one screen in Raymaze. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun one. How do you do the Robocop thing? You do, you get the Cobra gun, and then you shoot like a barrel or a box that's like off screen. And if you space it just right, your score just goes up like crazy until you scroll the screen forward. Very stupid. So score runs of that become become all about getting to the part with the score glitch as fast as possible, so you have as much time to take advantage of it. And then leaving just as much, just enough time to like beat the boss. Yeah, I remember that part in the Robocop movie where he picked up the Cobra gun and shot a box off screen and sat there for five minutes. Almost as good as that part where he shot the dude in the dick. Dum, da -dum, dum, dum. Coming through. Oh god. I tried to get in the, the helicopter, but I threw a grenade instead. Right. The old uh, super bonus is in jeopardy here. I gotta run over some dudes. I hope that wasn't a bad idea. Shit. That was a bad idea. I'm just gonna yellow it. Oh wait, this stage has two guys. Shit. Ah, it's random which way they decide to fire. Ah, they keep doing that shot. Okay. That's okay, I can recover. This isn't too bad. I'm not getting a super bonus, though. Oh, now you fire to the left! What are you gonna do? Thank you. Oh, I did get the super bonus! Nice! Damn, he's good! Does he do it? Almost at the the max out. <laughs> oh, that's good, Mr. Energy. Maybe, maybe sometime soon you'll get to see the, uh, the, the nearly impossible old version of Shock Troopers once this evening. <laughs> BBH himself? Yeah, I'm kind of on a first name basis with BBH. Make you wait a while to get the helicopter here, huh? Oop. 
you could do that. Bullets not murder me. The the hitbox in this game is kind of weird. Like the top of your sprite isn't as vulnerable as the bottom of your sprite. So some stuff you can kind of pass under, but stuff you like you try to you try to get through from the from the bottom doesn't really work. It's kind of weird. Oh, that's my stop. Oh shit. Yeah, like that. I can pass over the top of my sprite, but not the bottom. Sometimes it doesn't even make contact with the bottom half of your sprite and you die. Shit like that. Shit! This is stage six! It's like the third time I've had to do this boss with no power up. One down. Okay, this guy's gonna go all the way, all the way to the right. I found that out the hard way. YOLO! Do the kids still say YOLO? Make sure I have a, a helicopter waiting for me on the next stage. If I can do that, the max out should be free. Oh, the 10,000 bonus, nice. Okay. Yeah, one dude is stuck. Sometimes the planes actually chase you between stages. I swear one time I got I got sniped by a plane that just followed me through the, the stage transition and decided to kill me right away. It was the cheapest shit. I was mad. your big heli. That's a trick. You want to take out that, that first one like before the other one spawn on the screen. Alright, should be good. Even if I get stuck on stage 56, I can I should still be able to max it out. Scoring rate has been a little over 1.4 million for loop. Twenty-eight lives in reserve, I think that's enough. Oh no. <laughs> Don't you dare fucking snipe me. Dude was waiting. I do kind of wish this game didn't max out at 9.9 .9 million. I kind of wish it had a 10 million, 10 million digit, just to see how far I could push it. I'll make that my marathon game instead of a Robotron. I 
LSA Squad Tie Dye Edition. Yeah, the musical note background. The music's an important part of the experience. Asteroids Deluxe is not easy. And again, I'm... I'm not very good at regular asteroids either. But also, yeah, part of it is I don't like the I don't like asteroids button configuration. I don't like using buttons to rotate. It makes me feel like I'm playing on a keyboard. That was a big problem I had with Gravatar when I had to play it in one of those Battle of the Arcade tournaments, like, I always had, like, I knew what I wanted to do, but I couldn't, like, rotate the ship fast enough, because uh, the ship rotates so slow. Like, it, it made me wish I had a joystick. But that's not how they designed the game. Sloppy here. I'm getting really sloppy here. Should still be good for the super bonus at least. Yeah, Phoenix uses uh, buttons for movement too. Hate it. <laughs> I'm just always, I'm one of those guys that just prefers to have a, uh, a joystick or a pad. I know, like, early on in the, uh, with arcades, like, there was no, there was no standardized control yet. Everybody was trying different shit, seeing what sticks. Joysticks weren't standard yet. <laughs> God damn it, so crazy. Oh god, I didn't I didn't mean to make a pun there. I'm so sorry. Shit. Did I kill enough dudes to get the, the super bonus? Uh oh. That shot doesn't go far enough! It was level one power shot. Okay. Let's not die on this stage. I died on this stage. Alright, getting the super bonus is gonna be tough. I can't throw grenades or I get off the train. Come on! Ah, that's not a power-up. Got the 10,000 bonus off. Alright, I gotta do this without the, uh... Oh, thing. Not the power shot. Yeah, see, that kind of, like, clipped my legs. The bottom of your hitbox is much fatter than the top. Okay, 
Okay, this is like the fourth time I've had to do this boss without a power up. What? Yeah. I'm down to 29. I'm losing them like crazy. This could be the end of my credit. You never know. Fucking, I threw a bomb. Uh, something does happen when you when you roll the score. You don't get a you don't get a good message, but something does happen. It's a special surprise. Contact your local DEA for no. Shit. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I'm not getting the super bonus for now. I'm gonna have to do one more extra stage. Seven loops will not be enough. You know, assuming I get past this fucking stage. One, two. No bonus at all. And this plane is chasing me. Okay, that's that's fine. I didn't fire a shot. All right, now I'm gonna start running over dudes. I have to get the super bonus before the next stage. Or for the next stage. It is imperative that I have a helicopter and a level 3 shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. I can't remember, did they give you a tank before the boss on this stage? I think they do. Power up! Okay, I can reroll. <laughs> I can reroll the power up. Another beam. Oh, there is a tank. Nice. Okay. Um. Damn it. I need to like run over these dudes, but if I if I take too long here, the planes get mad. If I die here, I don't think I get the tank back. We'll do little leeching as a treat. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Ah, we got it. Nice. You guys need to fuck off and let me get in the helicopter. Uh oh, that guy! Oh god, the planes are mad. The hit squads out. I think as long as you like advance the screen enough, it it de-angers the hit squad. They're not doing it now. stage. We are almost done. Stage 57 will be the last stage. Or will it? I kind of want to roll the, over the score without the super bonus. I'm going to start mashing the fire button. This 
so weird playing the game like this. It's unnatural. And it gets me 10,000, of course. Oh, you see what's going on? Everything I destroy gives me an extra life. I thought it happened at the, the max out, but I guess it happens at 9.99 million. Look how many lives I'm building up. Oh, hit squad's out. And it stopped. Wait, what? I thought I shot that thing. 74 lives in reserve. Oh. I'm down to zero lives. <laughs> they give you all those lives and then they take them away. And now you, you can't earn any, earn any lives back. This guy's gonna snipe me! <laughs> he did the thing. He did the thing. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me, uh, let me confirm something. Yeah, so if I type in, if I type in sex, I get a random luck percent. Let's see how my gotcha luck is. 25%? Oh. I am not a stud. <laughs> yeah, apparently it... It generates a number between 0 and 100, which is incremented every frame. According to TCRF. Do I have save states? I do. What are these save states from? I just want to show the the end of stage stuff. Now that I did the uh, I did the credit, I'm not doing another full credit. I just want to I just want to clear one stage and show this. Because apparently there's there's a few uh, joystick codes you can do at the end of the stage. Luck 25%. That's rough. <laughs> I can't believe I got killed by the enemy or the, the plane just chasing me. That was great. Okay, let's just uh, shoot that. Make a save state. So if you go left, up, down, right, right. I wrote this down just in case. It's left, up, down, right, right, up, left, up, left, down, down. I didn't do it right. There we go. You get an automatic power-up. So if you can clear a stage, you can monster your, your way to get a free power-up. I tried to not do that for the entire game. I didn't want to make it easier on myself. There's a couple other codes. Uh, up, up, right, 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 down, 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 down. Which is Taito America Core 1986 original game. If uh, if the copy protection is triggered, it says dead copy game. And the other one is uh, what's it? Up, down. I didn't write this one down. Up, down, right, left. Up, down, right, left. Down, down, down. Keyword 236. Hadouken? What does that mean? And it gives you 7,770 points. Oh man, I should have been doing that every stage. I could have gotten more points. Oh, it's a hint for the the up, up, right, 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 down, down. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But that code's easier than the other one. 
Why would you need a hint for the the easier one? All right, I wanna I wanna roll the uh, do another ten pull here. One hundred percent. Damn, what a sex machine.